Okay, y'all, man. We back, man. Sports Rundown Show, man. About to get this one in real quick, man. My baby bulls, my shy bulls, man. You dig what I'm talking about, man. But let's get the intro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, what up, y'all? What up, y'all? This your boy, LC The One, baby. LC The One reacts, you dig. A.K.A. Illmatic One Two Four. You're not the mother sucking gang numbers, man. But my actual jersey number I wore when I was hooping in high school. And my warm up jersey is right here on the back of my mother sucking one the spin. Hey, what's up to my LC Nation, my LC gang, and my LC crew? Hey, what's going on? Out there in the land where y'all living, you did. But hey, man, we back with another episode of the Sports Rundown Show, man. Uh, I may make this one raw uncut, man, because I got a few of these I'm going to do uh, uh, for y'all right now. So, y'all y'all seen how the episodes look, okay? Sometimes it's going to be raw uncut. Sometimes it's just going to be regular. I mean, uh, with, with um, the titles and all that stuff. But we press by all the matters because we got a lot of stuff to do, man, and cover, okay, uh, today in NBA uh, news okay. Uh, first and foremost, I'm gonna say uh, the Bulls had a hell of a good damn uh, home stand uh, against these uh, Boston Celtics. Man, they didn't just let them come in here and roll all over them and stuff like you know, like a lot of teams have been getting pummeled at home in uh, uh, the openers and stuff like that. This is the second game I think the Bulls played at home. I think, um, and it was a good it was a good performance. Uh, I can say that right now. Um, everybody looked pretty, looked it damn good. Okay, on both teams, on both sides of the ball, both teams looked really good. Uh, Jason Tatum got off to a nice, good, uh, a quick start uh, in the first quarter. Man, he was cooking the Bulls. Um, uh, he didn't stop. He did not stop cooking them at all uh, in the first quarter, and they jumped out to a nice lead. It was a, a bunch of lead changes, but the Bulls finally did take over the game. Okay, I think our energy. Um, was a little bit more better than theirs tonight because they traveling and stuff like that. I don't know how uh, what was the last game they played on the road, but uh, you know that travel sometimes it can take a toll on you. You ain't getting the proper sleep, and I seen I, I kind of noticed that that these players they was kind of tired. Okay, uh, but anyway, we took a van besides you know Jason Jason Tatum, but Jalen Brown he didn't get enough touches. I don't think uh, tonight uh, he didn't get a lot of touches tonight. And well, that night and um, um, eight o'clock in the morning, I'm, I'm covering this right right away. But anyway, um, I'm gonna start doing it at nighttime exactly when it ends, okay? And get y'all the wrong cut that way too, so we can get up faster. Just like flight, okay? My shout out to flight react. But anyway, uh, we're gonna get right into this man. The game changing moments, man, that I noticed uh, that changed the detriment of the game um, uh, for both teams. Uh, it was a good game. Willie played, but I think we got a, we, we younger. We got a little bit more energy than them. And I think that's what happened, okay? So, now with that being said, man, we finna go right into the first game changer moment. Hold on one second. I got my notes right here and everything. I told y'all I'm more organized for y'all uh, this time around. Okay, split up and down because this is what we do on the Sports Rundown show. Uh, we do the analyst stuff, man. Just like the like the, the big dog, Stephen A. Smith and them. Uh, but I give y'all some more insight and try to break down uh, offensive pl uh, structures and defensive plays and all that stuff. Okay, so we're going to start with the first game-changing moment, man. And it came within um, uh, 10 minutes and 54 seconds in the first quarter. Uh, mind you, Jason Tatum, he was hot. They was going to him early. He had did one move, uh, one, one, one play. He, he had caught the ball in the post. And did a series of head flicks and hit the defense discombobulated and stuff like that. And I was going to use that as the game changer moment, but this really was the first game changer moment because it broke the lead open for them, for the Boston Celtics. Uh, so, uh, like I said, uh, this game came within 10 minutes and 52 seconds in the in the first quarter. Uh, uh, Tatum received a dish pass, uh, inside dish pass from uh, White and. Uh, he got in the paint and he got a nice little dunk, and that right there sparked a like a 9-0 run or something for them. And they got up, they went, uh, I think, by like 
12 or 13 points, okay? I don't think Levine, I don't think Levine's, I think he did start, but they took him out early. I think if Levine would have stayed in there, it would have been a nice little seesaw battle. Let's take a look at this play right here. So, uh, White got the ball. He's bringing the ball down. You see Jason Tatum right here on the far left side right here uh, being guarded by, I don't know who was guarding him, but uh, it was a miss assignment somewhere. So, I think uh, Tatum, he came off a, a, a screen because that like LaMarcus Smart going down and set a screen. And I think he got a cur another screen at the top right there when he ran ran past Horford. And that's what got him open in the lane where White was able to dish the ball to him. So let's take a look at that. So here we go. Okay. Okay, so I see it was a screen for Marcus. He came off like a little curl wheel motion. Um, um, Horford, uh, they, he, he fed the ball to Horford first. White fed the ball to Horford. He gave it back to him. The defense thought he was going to shoot. I think that's the Rosen. But they didn't see the cutter, which was Tatum slashing to the basket in this. And that's what happened. <clears throat> yeah, Nancy dunk. Okay, so that was a miss assignment. That was a good play uh, because it caught the Bulls off guard. Okay, so let's go back to it. Let's take a look at it one more time. Because um, I think that was, that was the really was the game changer moment. That kicked off everything for the Boston Celtics. They ran with their strategy, the game plan. And it was working effectively until the Bulls started figuring things out. Okay, so like I said, uh, White, he brought the ball down. Uh, he brought the ball down. He's walking the ball down. Uh, Horford, he, uh, but he lead pass, uh, but he fed it to Horford, gave him a pass, and then um, Tatum received a screen from Marcus Smart, and they thought White probably was going to shoot the ball. He probably going to pick and roll with Horford, and that's what caught them off guard. And Tatum was able to slip down the lane and got a nice little nasty dunk. Uh, I don't know if it was another screen. We're about to see if it was another screen on his defender. Okay, so. Okay, that's the first screen right there. He, uh, uh, Mark Smart did a good job of bumping off. I don't know who that was that was guarding him. But Horford got the ball from White. White. He was kind of like screening um, White's man. Okay, so that. Did give him a little like window, like you know, we could see. And then from that point, uh, uh, Tatum was already too far, like in the lane. Right there. See? He was too far in the lane because they thought it was going to be a pick and roll. And by the time his defender got back, he could have shot the ball. Okay? It was a good option right here. He he, he either he could have shot the ball, or because uh, as you can see, uh, Williams starting to close out because he's chasing, uh, he's chasing Tatum now. Okay? And he could have swing passed it over to Marcus Smart. He could have got a three because Drodic is too far away from. I think that's Levine. It's too far away from. Him. Okay. See, and then lead pass into the in the lane. Nice play. That was a slick play, and they got away with it. And Tatum uh, punched it in. Okay. Now the second game changing moment came within four minutes and sixteen seconds. Uh, Jason Tatum hit a step back three pointer, and that ended the first on a, on a, on. A, on a, uh, on a good note for uh, the Boston Celtics, they ended up going up 30, 32 to 14. That's how they ended the quarter. Uh, well, there's a little more points they scored, but uh, that was the second game changer moment. So we're going to go right to that. Hold on one second. Um, I just came from playing, I just came from working out. I did, I, I ran 10 laps and I posted some on my social media. So y'all check it out on my social media. I'm on Instagram at LC the one everywhere. And y'all see what I was talking about, okay? I'm about to post some of the videos, uh, what well, the video I did today. Um, surely, I did, I was working on my my cross back, uh, one of my, my, my uh, chicken wrap behind the back, step back three point shot, and I was doing Euros and getting my speed together. Okay, so let's go to that time stamp, four minutes and 16 seconds uh, that came within the first quarter that ended the first quarter for the Boston Celtics on a good dizzy note, okay? Tatum was cooking them all quarter long. We got an ad coming up. Uh, ain't that about something? Okay. They got to get their money, too. I feel you. Go ahead. Get it. Are you a low-income American on yeah. stamps or Medicaid? Yep. If no, so, we ain't on Medicaid. You are now eligible to receive a free brand-new smartphone okay. with 25 gigabytes of free high-speed data. Stop the cap. Plus unlimited talk and text. Okay. Over five oh, okay, we got that right now. It's great. Okay, so okay, like I said, this was four minutes and sixteen seconds. So we getting right there. Like I said, I'm we gonna be doing this all year long, man. So make sure y'all subscribe and turn the notification bell button so y'all can know 
when I'm doing this stuff, man. So, um, y'all can get the what the, the sports rundown. Okay, so anyway, okay, here we go, man. Uh, we're gonna come back just a little bit more before the play started. Okay, just a little bit more before. Give a couple more seconds. Um, because I want y'all to see how it really broke down. Okay, the play. Okay, and how it really initiated and stuff like that. Okay, so now I think we're right, right about there. Hold on, hold on. Let's go back to that overlay shot. Uh, take. Okay, so here it's going to come right after this. So, Okay, Tatum got the ball now. He got them um, banana uh, peel shoes on. Okay, as you see, they trapping him now. They trapping him. Uh, I call him God too, some, uh, uh, he from Chi Town. That's, that's his nickname. <laughs> I gave him. But you see Zach, well, that's Vucevic and uh, Zach. Uh, but Vucevic and God uh they, they trapping him, okay? I think that's, no, that, that may be um, Zach Levine. But they, they, they trapping him, okay? They trapping him. See what happened? Okay? Now, after the trap, after the hedge, that's what it was, a hedge, they went into ISO mode, okay? Uh, they should have stayed on him. They should have stayed with a double team on him to get the ball. Out of his hand because at this point he was cooking the boys. He was on fire. I don't know how much he had within the first quarter. My phone is over there, uh, but I'm gonna give you I'm gonna start giving y'all uh, the breakdown on how much they hit in the first quarter and cetera, etc. Cetera, because he was cooking the hell out the boys uh, in the first quarter, as y'all know. Tatum is that dude. He was training with the Black Mamba, uh, and that's where his skill set is. Uh, you know, he was infatuated with Kobe. Okay, I was infatuated with MJ, just like Kobe was, and that's where I got my skill set from. And as well as Kobe Bryant, rest in peace with my brother. Okay, but anyway, uh, as you can see, Tatum got the ball, he's starting to isolate. And, you know, at this point, once he started his iso move, he pretty much hit the defender. You know, he had him off, see, he wasn't in his stance. See how his stance is? He wasn't in his defensive stance, so he recognized that. So he just did a couple more moves, and... That was it, okay? That was able to free him up to get an open shot. So let's take a look at it. Okay? See? See, he had him shook already. Y'all see that? He had him shook. He did you know, once he once he got him out of his defensive stance, after coming, you know, they, they should have stayed in a double team. That was a uh a bad misassignment from us, the Bulls. Um but he should have stayed in that he should have stayed in that that uh, they should have stayed in that double team and instead of Bucci falling back and not hedging on him. Uh, they should have just went right into a double team, trapped him, and forced him to give the ball up. Because that's what, uh, who did that in the regular season, I think it was? Uh, I think that was uh, Brooklyn. No, uh, that, that stopped ball. No, who stopped Boston? Uh, nobody stopped them. Oh, that was uh, that was the Golden State Warriors. The Golden State Warriors, they started trapping him, and they forced him to get the ball up. Because they know he he is their they, uh, number one option right now. Even though I think it should be Jalen Brown. Like in this scenario, they need to use Jalen Brown a little bit more because they're not using him effectively enough, uh, in my opinion, because uh, I think Jalen Brown's the best skilled player on their team. And that is no cap, okay? Uh, he's a shooting guard. I don't know. I think if they got him a small four right now or something. But they need to go one more option through JB because I think they'd be more effective. Okay, so here we go. Let's run. Let's look at this play again. Like I said... Okay, they came over. It was like a hedge play. That's what Vucci was doing. Okay, he let us defend it. They won't really too much worried about Al Horford because you got people that can close out on him if he if they do feed him the ball because they know at this point it's an ISO thing and they know Tatum ain't gonna get the ball up. Okay, so that was a good way. That was a hedge. And that was good. In this situation, they should have trapped them though. They should have trapped them and forced and forced them to get the ball up because we know it's um him on that. Everybody should know it now. Okay, based on what we seen last year, because I watched it last year. Me and SD was in there watching it last year, and the finals, and I, I seen that the the you gotta give credit to the Golden State Warriors of what they did. They stopped this man. Okay, so anyway, uh, see that once they came out of that that hedge, that double, Tatum seen that he knew the defense was you know uh, was off balance, and he took advantage of the man. Okay. Step back. It was too late at that point. Okay. That was the okay, that in the first quarter they went up big time, 32-14. At that point, that made it 32-14. And they ended the quarter off in a press fashion. Now, let's go to the second quarter. Let's see how much time we got, because I don't want this video to be too long. Okay, we're gonna just gonna make it 20 minutes, okay? Uh the second the second quarter, um ball hit. Ball, uh, Caruso. 
he hit a, a, a three, which got the Bulls within four points, okay? Uh, at that point, it was like 30, 39 to like 31 or something. So let's go to that time stamp. That was 11 minutes and some seconds that just started this, the, the second quarter. Okay, so let's go right to the timestamp real quickly. You did, uh, so y'all can. This that's the second one right there. That's the second timestamp uh, for the second quarter. But anyway, let's go to that one real quick. Cause I think that, cause now the Bulls at this point they was figuring out what they was gonna do. Their strategy was working, uh, offensive wise and defensive wise. Uh, it started working. Okay, uh, once they kept Zach out there a little bit longer. Okay, uh, and then they brought the Rosen back in. That was the icing on the cake for us, okay? Uh, so now, well, at this point, I think it was 39 to 32. I think I got that right. Uh, well, it was 39 to 35, okay? So after this play, then it's going to go right into the play. So let's take this Crusoe layup real quick. I mean, uh, well, this is the Crusoe 3, right? This, this is where, okay, it was like a fast break lead. And they went to a half-court set. We got the dish pass. And then uh, he knocked down three, and that brought it within four points at that point uh, uh, with, uh, with the quarter just starting. And that right there, that, that shifted everything, okay? Because now uh, we start to get our skin together. Russo knocked that shot down. And that started everything. So now let's go to what really kicked it off, okay? Uh, now, still the second quarter, but nine minutes and 26 seconds, uh, Derrick Jones Jr., I love Derrick Jones Jr. Man, he got a a, a a nice little feed pass in from Drodic. Drodic went up and tried to shoot like a ten foot elbow jumper, and Horford was trying to defend him. And um, he's saying, uh, "No, Horford went trying. It was somebody else that was defending Drodic." But uh, Drodic, being a veteran player, he's saying that there was a you know like a mismatch. Um, with Horford sticking Derrick Jones Jr. So um, Derrick Jones Jr. immediately stopped cutting to the basket and he went up and he faked the shot and dished it to him and Derrick Jones Jr. got a, a nasty dunk. And that changed that changed everything. That changed everything uh, uh, for this game right here. And that's what really broke everything up. Okay, so let's go to that real quickly. Okay, here we go. As y'all can see, Drodic got the ball. He's being heavily guarded and contested. Okay, he gets in the painted area. Okay, and once he gets in that painted area, uh, it's over. Because see, I think he's a uh, he got a high field goal percentage just out the paint. Okay, but anyway, so let's see how it breaks down and stuff. Here we go. Drodic gets the ball. See Derrick Jones Jr. cutting right there. That was a nice fake pass right there. The uh, nice uh, uh, jump shot, fake pass, uh, not jump shot pass uh into Derrick Jones Jr. and he cut it, slashed and tackled and got the nice little nasty dunk. It was a wrap. He could have he could have threw a oop in that in that scenario as well. Okay. And right there at that point that um got the book within one point and then that's when everything started to change. Okay, so now there's another draw to play and this came within seven minutes and fifty five seconds in the first. Or oh, second quarter I mean so let's go down to the time stamp. And we almost right there. Okay, as y'all can see, I'm getting better with this. Uh, you know, it's my first time doing this on my sport. I mean, it's not my first time. I, I have attempted something back in the day. Uh, but that was on my LC1 TV, I think it was. Way back in the day. Okay. Okay, we get close. So now, at this point, I think it was tied up. It was tied up. And that's when uh, this was another draw to play. Okay, so now we're going from right from this play. And it's going to lead right up to this play. So now... Um, Drada comes off a curl motion, getting the pass from Derrick Jones, and now, now this is a two-way thing that's going on right now, okay? This is a two-way thing going on right now with these two players right here. So they run the play, uh, Billy Donovan is running the plays through these two guys right here. Uh, and that's what I'm saying, these, these strategies they're using is very, we got a lot of, we got, we got some good personnel that we could use in a lot of different scenarios. Uh, now we got drumming. This is beautiful. The Bulls, this is probably one of the best Bulls teams that they have ever had. And that's no calculus. We got some really good players. Okay. But anyway, let's get back to it. Derrick Jones gets a high arcing left hand layup uh, with Drotty. Uh, Drotty does. Um, um, and the Bulls take their first lead. Um, and it was 46 to 44 after the Bulls uh, went on. And shortly after the Bulls went on a, 
on a nice little streaky lead, and they 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 ended the end. Or they end up winning by eighteen points. Uh, and or they went up by, by like eighteen points, I think, for the second quarter was over, uh, but something like that. But anyway, uh, let's go to this play real quick, man. See, that's the breaks down. Okay, so now Drotic, he got the ball. He passed over the. Um, now that's a two way thing, like I said, between these two players. Okay, now Drotic gets the ball. Feeds it over Derrick Jones Jr. Okay, he got Tatum on him. Drotic got Tatum. So now let's see what Drotic do. Yeah. Gets the ball back. Another touch pass. They, they, it's a two way thing between these two players. So now that Drotic sees that his man is being like almost screened a little bit, he takes advantage of it because he got a little, little space to penetrate. So that's exactly what he do. So he goes left. Okay. See that? That little that little time that little screen that Derrick Jones did a little bit on uh Jason Tatum freed him up. Okay, so now he know he got the mismatch a little bit faster than Al Horford, so he can get you know a little bit more further into the back. So he know he gotta shoot the ball before Horford gets a chance to jump. But as you can see, Horford's body is turned. So he got the defender already, you know, in a position where he can't really contest the shot. So when he gets deep into the paint and he gets a high arc and he threw it up high enough because he know he got uh, leapers down there. He, I think he got Drummond down there. Well, that's Patrick Williams, uh, Williams and Derrick Jones. They got leapers down there. They got they got two people that they can box out and get that rebound if, ne if need be. So let's take a look. See that? The rebound is the in position. Okay, that was a good... Uh, a heads up move uh, by Drotic, veteran move by Drotic. Recognized that defense, you no, know, uh, and it was off balance. And if the rim comes off, if the ball comes off, and he threw it up high enough, I know why he threw it up high enough. Because if it comes off the cylinder or something like that, or if it uh, goes to the top of the backboard and it starts to come back over to the other way, either Derrick Jones Jr. or I think this is uh, Drummond will get an easy put back dunk. That was a good heads up smart move by Drake. Okay, let's take a look at the end of it. See that? But he got boxed. Whoever that was got boxed out, but either way it go. That was a good that was a good play. Okay, that was a good play. Good court uh good heads up move by Drake being a veteran. And from that point on, that's when the Bulls took over the whole rest of the game. And that was it. Okay. Uh I think oh we got one more. One more. This is really where they put the nail in the coffin, okay? Zach Levine, he had his first three point shot. Uh, he calls up Bucci for a nice little screen, and he knocks down a nasty three-point jump. He elevated so high. I think that was over Jalen Brown, um, and he knocked that shot down. At this point, the Bulls went up by, they won by 18 points, okay? That's what I meant to say in the last uh, sequence. Okay, so let's go down to this time step, and that's going to be the end of this episode. Uh, we're going to give you the box scores and stuff. So this came within five minutes and 51 seconds. Left in the third quarter. Okay, so now we're in the third quarter. Okay, let's get down to the timestamp. Um, see, I'm analyzing the game for y'all, man. This is what the analysts do. Okay, and I'm pretty sure Stephen A. Smith and them are talking about this. Uh, don't forget about the Bulls, Stephen A. Okay, don't forget about us now because y'all know we are the people. Okay, so here's the play right here. Five minutes and 51 seconds. Uh, let's go back just a little bit more. We can get it with a play and this we started. Okay. I say right there. No, we want to go back just a little bit more. Right there. Okay. So watch how this play starts. Uh Zavine, he was um Let me show you where Levine started. He started right there. You see how he is, okay? Um he's giving uh Vucci's already the corner. He's set up now. This is an isolation play right here. That's how that's how this and then the man, man to man, the defense. So, uh, Levine calls up Vucci for a screen. Okay? When he comes up there, y'all will see. Five, so okay. That's the screen. Levine goes right. Okay? He know Horford is over there. Now, if he beat, now, if his man is beat. He could pull up because he know Horford ain't going to be able to contest the shot. Because he jumped too high. Okay? Or he can just drive past Horford. Cause he's quicker than him and get to the basket. And by the time Tatum closed out, or he can pull up right there, or he can down drop it to, I think that's the Suma, and he can hit a three. He got options. Okay, let's see what he do. Okay. Then he just pulled up. He could have got a little bit further in though. 
I would have got a little bit further in because this man was beat already because he got screened. I would have got a little bit further in, took a little bit more high percentage shot. And, you know, uh, yeah. But it's good to practice your depth, okay? That's what this is about, practicing your depth. And that's what Vayner has been working on. And he knocked the shot down. Jumped too high. And that was it. I think that was over Jalen Brown. But that's it, man. That's it for this uh, episode of the Sports Rundown Show. I'm going to give y'all the box scores. Hold on one second. Let me see if my phone is finished uploading this video. Okay. Yeah. Success. Okay, so now let's do, let me give y'all the box scores, man, real quick. Um, okay, so as y'all know, man, um, as of always, we start with the losing team first. And we're going to start with the Boston Southern. Now, the Boston, they had a hell of a damn good game. Uh, no, no cap. They had a really good game. Um, the Boston Celtics now are three and one. We gave them their first loss, so this was a really good playoff type of a game. I think we had a little bit more talent than them. Okay, because we got a little bit more stars than them now. We really do. Got we got like an all star team. This is a really good damn team that the Bulls have. Okay, so now let's go to uh, the losing team first. So as in all ways, we start losing team, and the high man on this team this night. Was Jason Tatum? He logged 35.26 minutes on that night. Okay, he scored 26 points. He had eight rebounds, five assists. Okay, uh, finished 18 for 18, eight for 18 from the field. He shot 44% from the field goal. Okay, uh, so so I think he could have took better shots, but. Most of his shots did come to paint early because he did get into the paint, but we closed that out and we stopped it. So he started taking jumpers. He shot um, four for eight from the three-point and ended up with 50% on the night from the three-point strike. Okay, right behind him, Jalen Brown. Like I said before, I think Jalen Brown needs the ball in his hand more. Okay, I really do believe that. Put the ball in Jalen Brown's hand, and I'm telling you, this will change everything uh, for them. Because in the long run, they're going to need his production, okay? Uh, he had 21 points, 6 rebounds, 2 assists. Um, he shot terrible from the field. He got a lot of shot attempts, okay? But he shot back 8 for 23 from the field goal. Uh, his field goal percentage was 34.8. And he didn't really t make that. He didn't take a lot. He did take a, a few three-point shots, 7 attempts. But he only hit 2, okay? And off the bench, uh, Brogdon. They should have given Brodden a little bit more time. He gonna have to, I think he may have to start. I think they should start him over LaMarcus Smart. I think he's a little bit more better savvy point guard than Smart. I'm just saying uh, I think that they, they need to really consider that. Uh, for real. But that does it look good for them, though, either way it go, because they do got a backup point guard that can come in and help them out. Okay? And... Uh, who else has some uh, and, and smart he finished with a left okay let's go to the winning team Shy Bull baby uh, we now 2-2 two and two. okay high man for the Bulls DeMar DeRozan my main man Rosen uh, 25 points 5 rebounds 5 assists 1 steal he shot 10 for 17 from the field goal he uh, ended up with 58.8% on the field goal percentage and uh, he didn't attempt no threes wow uh, no threes at all okay uh, from the Monte Rosa and right behind him, Vucci. My main man, Vucci. Vucci, I had 18 points, 23 rebounds. Wow. Um, he had five assists. Um, Vucci, wow. He had seven, he uh, shot seven for 19 from the field goal, uh, from the field. And his field goal percentage, he ended up with, uh, what was his field goal percentage? Vucci, this new way they got this thing, I don't like it. 36.8%. Okay, and right behind him, Zach had 19. Dusumo had, uh, I call him God Dusumo, but that's Dusumo, my main man, Shot Town in the building, baby. Stand up, baby. Shot Town, another one on, on, on the Bulls team. Uh, Dusumo had 22 points. And I don't think, I don't think Andrade off the bench had seven, but Derrick Jones had 10. And I don't think uh, Drummond played yesterday. Oh, he did. He had 12 rebounds. Okay, so we looking good. The Bulls, that's all I wanted the Bulls to have was a real protector. And we got that now. Okay, we got a real protector now. And I'm so proud of the Bulls, man. They, they doing damn good. They got a good coach, Billy Donovan. 
we did really good in um, the general managing uh, 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 decision making uh, for this this season and for the Bulls period uh, for the last couple of years. Uh, they really been doing their thing. They, I think we solid. I think we are really solid. We don't. Need, we really don't need. We don't need nobody else. We perfect. The Bulls are perfect, man. Uh, this is a really good team. We got scores, and we got scoring scorers. Okay, and uh, yeah, the rookie didn't play Sevenovic. I watched him the whole year, and we got we got Aka Patupo. We got one of the um, Aka Patupo boys and Lonzo Ball. But if we get Lonzo Ball back, we're gonna be dope like that. Okay, but anyway, that's it, man, for the sports rundown show. I'll be back later with some more. Uh, this may be a raw uncut. I don't know if I'm gonna put the titles on. I, I think I can. I don't, you know, man, we'll put the titles on it real quick, man. I was trying to upload this to y'all quickly as possible, but y'all got to see how the real look anyway. I can't just throw raw and cut stuff up there. But anyway, man, uh, we're gonna get up out of here, man. Hey, this your boy LC the One, baby. LC the One, we ask you, dig, aka Illmatic One, two four, and not the mother sucking game numbers, man. But my actual jersey number I wore when I was hooping in high school, and y'all know, my woman jersey right from the back of my motherfucking one to spin. Like I always say, man, keep a pimp and avoid slipping, because they will get your motherfucking ass if you slip on that motherfucker. I just came from the gym. Y'all see, I got the leggings on and stuff, the Mike Jordan leggings. See that? Yeah. With the old shit, I was outside today. Okay, it started raining. I was going to go in. But anyway. Like I always say, church forever, God, we going. But really, shout out, shout out to my LC Nation, my LC Gang, and my LC Crew. I need y'all to like this video. <laughs> Share this video everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Comment on this video, man. And most importantly of all, man, subscribe to my YouTube channel, man. Y'all need to subscribe and turn the notification bell button on. Y'all get more exclusive sports rundown episodes from your sports rundown guru, LC1. And like I always say, church forever, God, we going to five. A four, a three, a two, a one. That's a cut, baby. Let my heart talk. Like, y'all see that yeah, right there? Yeah. Okay, and we out here. My stomach bigger now because you got that baby in there. You did.